before I went out. Remember, um, Jay Garner went out soon after the, the victory was won on the 9th of April. He wasn't there immediately. Uh, he was given 273 people to run the civilian affairs of the whole of Iraq with, with no accommodation from the American military to work with him. Um, a, a completely uh, under-resourced attempt to carry out a policy which was to turn over Iraq back to the Iraqis as quickly as possible. When the violence and the sabotage and the, and, and the criminality broke out, I mean, he wasn't able to, to cope and you know, showed it in two or three weeks. It wasn't his fault. Good man asked to do something impossible with too few resources. So uh, Jerry Bremer comes in. Uh, John Sawyers uh, comes shortly afterwards and works with, with Jerry Bremer to try and establish the kind of um, political construct that the policy from Washington then said they should do, which was to wait before handing back to the Iraqis and try and construct uh, a constitution and the basis for election. Looking at all of that, I thought this needs the United Nations, actually, t to work, uh, and, and, and Sergio de Mello was there with John Soares and Jerry Bremer. This needs a triangle of, of equal responsibility, because the Brits and the Americans had equal responsibility, although the Americans were putting 20 times more resources than we were. But we had equal responsibility, and I wanted the UN to be the third point of the triangle. And I thought that if the United States could respect that sharing, they would start to create some legitimacy on the ground, which might be extremely effective. So I think it, it, it could have been done under certain circumstances. But one of our frustrations, which no doubt I concealed from you when you came out, was that the American approach was much narrower than that. They didn't want to let the United Nations in and dilute the purity of their own control over the situation. But actually, that approach produces less control. And, and it, it's, it's taken hindsight. Maybe that lesson isn't even yet learned now. I don't know. Uh, but unless you have the people you're working with and for, the Iraqi people, understanding that what you're doing is A, temporary, and B, legitimate in their view, because it's legitimate in the international view, you're not going to persuade them to, to follow you in what you're trying to do. That's, that's a long-winded way of saying hearts and minds, but that's what it's about. And I thought that Sergio could actually have added that, and Lakhda Brahimi later, after Sergio had been killed, and when we had to, when Jerry Bremer had to solve the Sistani problem for the transitional law in early 2004, Lakhda did solve some of the problems for the Americans, and, and Jerry Bremer realized that he needed the UN to solve his Sistani problem. Uh, we began to think, well, maybe they will understand that that kind of partnership is necessary. But by then, it was too late because the UN had been blown out of, out of the territory and UN teams weren't willing to come back in those insecure conditions. Actually, I think that Marty Artisari's report was right. The UN should have accepted Green Zone protection so that they could have worked it. But Sergio's fatal mistake was to believe that the UN was invulnerable. Yes.